Hey y'all, it's Kara with Goat Fort Farm and today the turkeys are getting an upgrade. When we first got the turkeys, well, we knew we wanted turkeys, but they hadn't been in our local farm supply store in over a year. So we had this chicken coop and they started out in here, but they quickly grew. After a few short weeks, they were too big for that coop. And so we moved them into this temporary situation where they were in this kennel that we'd use during kidding season for the goats. And we put tarps on the sides to help shield them from the intense sunlight. And we've moved it every single day and well, they get to graze most of the day and we just close it up at night. But now, now they get a turkey pen worth being in. So this pen came in a box today. We ordered it from Amazon and it was only $230 and it is 19 feet long and 10 feet wide and about six and a half feet at the top and the tallest point. The turkeys are not sure what to think about these building materials. So please enjoy this time lapse of us building it. I'm sure it won't take any time at all. After much raining today and many days of working on this uh, turkey tunnel, if you will, it is finally done for the most part. We might tweak it a little bit, but we finally have it set up. So let's go feed up the turkeys and let them out for a little bit. I put them up with that storm coming and uh, let's look at their place. It's about time to feed up and little cash is doing so well he's finally eating like he should be he was kind of a slow eater and not liking our grains that much but he's loving it now he gets the idea <laughs> and he's doing great he's foraging well and all that confetti obviously he's doing well he is in full rut his beard is wet not because of water <laughs> And Silver is also in full rut as well, as you can see by his very um, yellow face. Yes. But enough about them. Let's go check on the turkeys and their turkey tunnel. You may have seen the little short I did asking y'all what you thought these guys were, hens or toms. And most people said four hens and one tom. A few people said three hens and two toms, but I have to admit, I think I'm going to agree with four hens and one tom. Because look at this guy. He's got such a long snood. This one's looking a little tommy as well, though. Yeah, I mean, that one's kind of red, but... No, I can't. Yeah, the snood is just nowhere near that level. Who knows? Maybe this one's a late bloomer. I hope not. <laughs> 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 okay well here is the finished turkey coop here you can see the latch it's pretty easy i mean is it the it, most sturdy thing it could be easier it's we'll work on it yeah we can tweak it a little bit but um you can see it is zip tied wire zip tied like chicken wire it's it's metal it's not just like plastic but uh that was quite time consuming with putting it together and you'll definitely want people to help you if you're considering 
getting one of those. Couple of zip ties it took. Yes, and it doesn't really tell you how to disperse the zip ties either. I do like that you can, I, I love hanging their feeders and you can hang it in lots of different places and easily move that. The rain got to this feeder, so I'll demonstrate how easy it is to move it, hopefully. And we'll get this out of the rain. Didn't know it was gonna rain today, actually. But All day, is. mostly. <laughs> and we might have like the hurricane headed our direction, so who knows, we might get an abundance of rain, which is great because usually we are worrying about um, a drought this time of year. So, loving that. Let's get their feeder up here. Turkeys. And this is just a leash <laughs> that I had laying around that I've used for like our little chihuahua. But it makes for an amazing <laughs> little thing to hang there feeders from turkey feed holder yeah they are pretty hungry <laughs> they haven't been able to roam around today so let's get them that feed and look they're ravenous hey, creatures could you stop eating my shorts <laughs> they have loved nice. um perching on this step set of steps that's right here and we had a second set and so we put it on this side and covered it with a tarp so it's really easy to clean because they get up here and perch and if you have birds you know that where they perch they poop so it's really easy to clean having the tarp on top and then they have a little hideaway under there and as they get bigger we'll be able to wow. scoot the steps further and further from each other if you are thinking about getting a coop like this it does come with one shade tarp that is waterproof but they will still get wet if you don't have something else for them to get into. So I definitely recommend having another shelter within this. It's kept them in. So if you're looking for something to keep your birds in rather than keep predators out, I think this is a pretty good one. But I do have a few concerns and I'm gonna show you one now. So we also have goats and the roaming herd that we have of our does and weathers was over here grazing and they really like to rub their bodies on things. If you look at our mm -hmm. buck pen fence, you'll see the bottom half is kind of bowed out because they love rubbing on wire. And you can see here that this wire did not stay attached for long at all. The zip ties snapped off completely. And so if you're thinking about getting one of these, I would recommend getting the metal zip ties or something metal to fasten it with, or um, just using a lot more of the plastic to build up that yeah. strength. We need to go back over it. Yeah. More zip ties anyways, if I you mean, can believe this, it. This really isn't that safe, but we have the livestock protection dogs. Um, and mainly we wanted this coop to keep the turkeys in rather than something out. So if you're thinking about getting a turkey coop like this, we do have the link to it in the description to the exact one that we bought. There's some other sizes as well available, but we went with the largest one of the brand we were looking at, and it's working out pretty well for us so far. Also, if you have any ideas for how we could improve the coop other than what we've done so far, it, I mean, it could use some beautification, maybe some things for them to hop on or play on. I don't know. Some turkey toys. Yeah, so comment. If there's something that your turkeys enjoy or even chickens enjoy because i think they might really like it too so with that y'all make sure that you've liked and are subscribed to our channel and don't forget if you have a dream go for it bye y'all bye